Greetings. This is Sarah Canary, a technical writer in the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon AWS account, which you'll need in order to launch an instance of the cPanel and WHM AMI, or to create an Amazon S3 backup destination. This video is part of a series of AWS videos, so be sure to check out our other videos for launching and accessing an AWS instance. Let's get started creating a new Amazon AWS account. First, there are a few things you're going to need. A credit card, your email address, and a mobile phone so that you can receive an access code. When you navigate to the AWS website, you'll see a page like this. Click Create an AWS Account to create a new account, and the Create a new AWS Account page will appear. If you've already started to create a new account but never finished, you will see Complete Sign Up instead. When you click Complete Sign Up, Amazon will take you to your most recent step in the creation process. If you see Sign In to the console, you already have an AWS account and can skip to launching your first AWS AMI instance. On the Create an AWS Account page, enter your email address, enter and confirm your desired password, and then enter your desired account name. Then, click Continue. The contact information page will appear. First, select whether you want to create a personal account or a professional account. For these account types, the functionality is pretty much identical, but if you select Professional, you'll need to enter a company name in the Company Name text box. Enter your contact information in the text boxes. Then, select the AWS Customer Agreement checkbox to agree to Amazon's terms and conditions, and then click Create Account and Continue. The Payment Information page will appear. On this page, Enter your credit or debit card information. Amazon requires that you keep a card on file with them at all times. After you fill everything in, click Secure Submit. The phone verification page will appear. Amazon requires you to prove your identity before you can finish creating your account. This prevents fraudulent accounts. Enter your telephone information in the country code, phone number, and extension text boxes. In the Security Check text box, enter the displayed characters. Now, click Call Me Now. The Call in Progress section will appear, and you will immediately receive an automated phone call from Amazon. On your phone's keypad, enter the four-digit PIN number that the page displays. The page will immediately display a confirmation message. Click Continue. The Select a Support Plan interface will appear. The support plan that you choose determines the speed of technical support responses, billing and account support, and other advanced services that you receive from Amazon. You'll need to read Amazon's guidelines to determine the specific support plan that you need. And remember, this support plan isn't for cPanel and WHM, it's just for Amazon. Once you know which one you want, select the desired support plan for your account. The Welcome to Amazon Web Services page will appear. You're now ready to create an Amazon AMI instance. Check our video on launching an instance for help with the next steps. For more information about cPanel, visit cPanel.com or follow at cPanel on Twitter. Thanks for watching and happy automating!